Hey, good morning, everyone. Welcome to Morning Manna. The main verse for this week is Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 1, which says there's a time for everything and every season under heaven. Let's continue on with the next couple of verses. A time to be born, a time to die, a time to plant, a time to uproot, a time to kill, and a time to heal, a time to tear down, and a time to build. As I'm reading this passage, I can't get the song out of my head that was recorded by the band called The Birds. It offers a version of this passage, which they recorded in the 60s, and it went to number one in the charts and was commonly known to be taken from Ecclesiastes chapter 3. Knowing this, that every season of life is orchestrated and planned by the hand of God, it allows us to face each new season boldly. We can embrace the place that God has us. I love the words of the old hymn, His Eye is on the Sparrow, that says, Many things, oh, I want to sing it so bad. Many things about tomorrow I don't seem to understand, but I know who holds tomorrow, and I know who holds my hand. There's a confidence that we have as we face each new season in life because we know that our steps are being ordered by the Lord. The first phase of life or season that we encounter is, of course, childhood. We nurse, crawl, eat solid food as we begin to grow. First steps are taken. This is a remarkable time of life. We go from drinking milk to learning how to handle solid food. Spiritually speaking, we begin to grow in our walk with the Lord, taking those first steps toward becoming the man or the woman that God has created us to be. And it's a wonderful time of romance in that there's something so special about that time in your life when you give your heart to Jesus. The Bible refers to this as your first love. Your love story in your relationship with Christ begins to develop. As a Christian, those early early years in your relationship with Christ are so special. Today I leave you with this verse, Deuteronomy 31, verse 6 says, Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified, for the Lord, your God, goes with you. He will never leave you or forsake you. God bless you today.